contraceptives are preventive measures for pregnancies. As we know, men do not have a wide range of contraceptive methods. The current research is focusing on finding contraceptives for men and they are all directed towards developing anti-spermatogenic agents to suppress the production of sperm. But to better understand this research, we must first understand what spermatogenesis is. Let's take a look. Our objective is to understand the process of spermatogenesis. At puberty, the hypothalamus secretes elevated levels of gonadotropin-releasing hormone, GNRH. GNRH stimulates the anterior pituitary gland to secrete luteinizing hormone, LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH. FSH works on Sertoli cells, whereas LH works on Leydig cells to stimulate the secretion of androgens. Androgens stimulate spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis is the process of formation of male gametes called sperms from the male germ cells. In the seminiferous tubules are present male germ cells called spermatogonia. Each spermatogonium contains 46 chromosomes and continually undergoes mitotic division. Some of these cells, called primary spermatocytes, are committed cells, which means they are now committed to undergo their first meiotic division. Primary spermatocytes undergo first meiotic division and form two equal secondary spermatocytes. These are haploid, that is, they each contain 23 chromosomes. Each of these secondary spermatocytes undergoes a second meiotic division to form four haploid cells called spermatids. They each contain 23 chromosomes. These spermatids mature further by the process of spermiogenesis to make spermatozoa or sperms. In this process, the spermatids lose their excess cytoplasm and a tail starts to protrude giving rise to sperm. This process is stimulated by the action of FSH on Sertoli cells. The sperms embed their heads in the Sertoli cells from where they receive nutrition. These sperms are then released from the seminiferous tubule. This process is called spermiation. The released sperms are transported via the accessory ducts where they receive secretions from the accessory glands like seminal vesicle, bulbourethral glands and prostate gland. The prostate gland secretion helps to nourish and protect the sperms. The bulbourethral gland secretes an alkaline fluid or mucus that lubricates the urethra for easy passage of ejaculate. Seminal vesicles also secrete an alkaline fluid that neutralizes the acidity of the male urethra and vagina. It contains fructose which provides energy to the sperms and prostaglandins and clotting factors that help the sperms to survive in the female reproductive tract. The seminal fluid along with sperms is called semen. Sperm contains a head, neck, a middle piece and a tail. The entire body is enveloped by a plasma membrane. The head contains a large nucleus. At the anterior end, it is covered by a cap-like structure called the acrosome. The acrosome contains various enzymes which dissolve the hard outer covering of the ovum and aids fertilization. The neck contains two perpendicularly placed centrioles. One of these gives rise to microtubules making the axial filament which extends down the tail. Axial filament facilitates the whip-like motion of the tail. There are numerous spiral-shaped mitochondria present in the middle piece. 
These provide energy for vigorous motility of the tail. Each ejaculate contains 200 to 300 million sperms, out of which 60% should have normal size and shape and at least 40% should have rapid motility to attain successful fertilization. Let's summarize. Spermatogenesis, the process of sperm formation in males, is stimulated by androgens secreted by Leydig cells, which in turn is stimulated by LH. In seminiferous tubules, the diploid germ cells are called spermatogonia. After mitosis, they produce committed cells called primary spermatocytes, which undergo two consecutive meiotic divisions to form two secondary spermatocytes, followed by four haploid spermatids. Spermatids mature into spermatozoa by the process of spermiogenesis. Spermatozoa, or sperms, are released into the vas deferens in a process called spermiation. Hence, the spermatogenesis is the process of sperm formation from germ cells, whereas spermiogenesis is the transformation of spermatids to mature sperms. A sperm contains a head which consists of a large nucleus and is covered by an acrosome, a neck which contains centrioles giving rise to axial filament, followed by a middle piece containing a spiral-shaped mitochondria and a tail that helps in locomotion. For normal fertility, at least 60% of the total 200 to 300 million ejaculated sperms need to have normal shape and size and 40% must have sufficient motility.